We are gathered together on this day to celebrate Hina and Riki as they make a promise of love and commitment to one another. It is a celebration of love, of commitment, of friendship, of family, and of past, present, and future. As a family, we have seen Hina and Riki blossom as a couple over the past five years. You could tell this was something special. The way they always hold each other's hands or arms around one another. The way they seem relaxed and giggling when they are together. It's always nice to have them come visit and also see how well Hina puts up with our Italian lifestyle and eating habits of salami, prosciutto and pasta while being a pescatarian afraid of gluten. <laughs> I always catch myself looking at you at random times or as you fall asleep on the couch at 8pm and I just start smiling. You are beautiful in all your ways and I'm so fortunate to have met you. Every day I'm in constant awe of your generosity and kindness, even towards complete strangers. Some of your jokes make me question your intelligence, but your quirky sense of humour reminds me that we're perfectly mismatched weirdos. So Rick, I'm a bit biased, but I think you are about the luckiest guy to have met Hina. As your older sister, I've always been very protective. I'm happy to be here today to celebrate your love with Hina. But most of all, I'm glad you found someone who loves you unconditionally, who understands you and compliments you perfectly. Congratulations to Hina and Ricky. I welcome Ina to our family and I wish you happy future together. When I see Hina tonight, I can't believe I still have a view in my mind of what it was like when she got off the aeroplane at Adelaide Airport with Uncle Sharp. Ina, seeing you so happy and in love warms my heart and I know that Rick is one lucky man to have you by your side. I still remember from when I first met Rick in grade 8, I was walking back to my bag and see this tall good looking European guy with dark hair. And just behind him was Rick. <laughs> Rick was by far the hairiest 12 year old I've ever seen. When I got over the initial shock of this boy with chest hair and sideburns, I think the first thing he said to me was, do you play basketball? And it was from that moment on I knew we would be good friends. A very caring son, brother and uncle. We couldn't ask for a better son. Ricky, we are very proud. With you, Rick, life is one big hilarious adventure and I wouldn't want it any other way. I love you. <laughs> 